Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So three months ago, I did my first vlog and I asked for some questions. So this morning, I thought I'd get some jobs done in the workshop and answer them while I go. But first of all, it's an absolutely horrible day out there, really wet and autumnal. So let's get that fire lit. So let's start with the important questions. Do I think wood glue should be white or yellow? Um, I don't really have a preference but the stuff I use is white. I use the Everbuild stuff. I get it in five liters at a time and then refill a bottle. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link down below to the stuff I use. Now, have I ever thought about doing a YouTube collaboration? Well, I think a couple of years ago, me and Sean Evely did a challenge together and that was making a box but I've never worked with another YouTuber on a project. But I'm certainly not averse to the idea, especially when I've done big projects like build this workshop, another pair of hands or lots of pairs of hands would have been very useful. So if you can think of some ideas for collaborations, uh, comment below. So have I climbed the stairs of the cathedral? I'm assuming we're talking about Durham Cathedral, which is a lovely cathedral, and I've been a couple of times, obviously not been in nearly two years now because of blooming pandemics and it being closed, but I've not climbed the stairs. Um, I think some of the upper levels were closed because they were doing some work, but I would definitely put that on my list of things to do. <laughs> So why is the workshop called, no, not workshop, channel. Why is the channel called Badger Workshop? And the simple answer is badgers are my favorite animals. So I was thinking of names for it and that seemed to work and it didn't uh, pigeonhole me, it didn't have woodworking in the title. So Badger Workshop could be open to interpretation. It could be several things, I think. So um, yeah, it's one of those things you come up with and then you're um, stuck with it. Also, I think with the badger, the paw print made a nice simple logo, so that was definitely a consideration. So a lot of people wanted to know what my full-time job is. Am I a full-time content creator? Well, I'm a full-time maker. Don't know if you can hear that, sorry. Full-time maker. So, for three years now, I've been making things and selling them and making YouTube videos. As the time has gone on, I've been selling less and less items and been making more videos. No, that's not true. I've not been making more videos. I've been trying to put more effort into my videos and spending more time on them. So I guess content creation has become a bigger part of my job. And I was selling things I made to strangers, I suppose, as now I've set up my own store, my own website, rather than trying to sell through a third party. And I'm gonna try and sell things I make maybe to um, you guys. So what size is the workshop? Well, I try to base the design around kind of available construction materials just to save on time and wastage. So it is six meters long because I could buy two, three meter lengths of timber and it is 2.4 meters wide because that is a standard length. Obviously it's not actually gonna be that because the way you'd have to butt corners together, um, one side would be slightly longer. I can't remember which way around it is. So basically it is uh, six by 2.4 or in old school, I think that is about 20 foot by eight foot. These are external dimensions. So you're gonna lose a bit for the walls. Um, I'm really happy with the space, but I do wish it was a bit bigger, but it's always a compromise between how much money you want to spend, what you're allowed to do with planning permission or permitted development. 
and how much of the garden you actually just want to take up. But I think if I'd made it two foot wider, so if it was uh, 20 by 10 or 60 centimeters wider, I think that would have made it a lot better space. So I do like working with different materials, wood, leather, non-ferrous metals, because they're easy to work with, like brass and copper. But I would like to work with more steel and learning to weld is definitely on my to-do list. Now, I have been trying to clear the garage out so I've got a space to do it, but I keep buying old bits of machinery to restore. So as soon as I've got space, learning to weld is high on my to-do list. Oh, it's getting hot in here now. So, why aren't there more badgers in the workshop? Well, badgers are quite solitary, aloof creatures, so they do come in for the final photos sometimes, but they like to be on their own and they don't like getting dirty. What car do I drive? Well, I had a little hatchback and then I got a Honda CRV, so like a four wheel drive, and I got that for the load capacity so I could go and pick up materials. But I never used it for that because it still wasn't big enough to get sheet materials in. And I ended up just placing big enough orders and getting stuff delivered. So actually in lockdown or just before lockdown, I got rid of it because I wasn't going to need it to try to save some money. And I haven't replaced it since as I work at the bottom of the garden and uh, never leave the house. What happened to the second channel I had? Well, YouTube's a funny thing and the algorithm, and this is my business, so I have to make decisions on what's best for that. And having a second channel wasn't maybe the best thing to do. So um, yeah, I try and put all the content on this channel. But thinking of other content, I've been wanting for a while to do some little tips videos and smaller, simpler videos but I don't want them to interfere with my build videos. So I did think about doing the second channel, but then no one will watch them. So my plan is to do these other videos and not put them up to replace the build videos. I'm gonna put them up as extra content each month. So keep an eye out for them. I think I'm gonna call them Badger Bites as gonna be short little videos and I will mark them well. So if you're not interested in things that aren't builds, then you can skip them. So I think that's all the questions answered for now, which is good because I've finished all my jobs. So now let me just talk about a few of the new tools I've got in the last few months. So the first new tool I got was a TSO rail square to go on my Festool. Now I've been wanting one of these for years and I was put off by getting one by the price of them, but I wish I'd got one sooner. They make what is already an extremely useful tool even better. I'll put a link to this down below. This one came from Axminster Tools. So the other thing I got was some new clamps and I went for some Collins Mitre clamps. You can never have enough clamps. And I'm so pleased with these. These are the best system I've found for doing mitres and picture frames are a joy to do now. I always found picture frames, the hardest bit was actually being able to clamp them up. So these came with the pliers and four clamps and I actually went and bought another 12 of the clamps so I can do four frames at a time. Links down to these below as well. So since I spoke to you last, I've not done much else apart from being in this workshop, apart from one trip to see family, trying to catch up on all the time I missed last year. And the one fun thing we did while I was there was go to a country show. Not been to one for years. I love dogs and there was a lot of dogs there. But the one thing I had a go at was axe throwing. I'd never done it before, and I got five throws for five quid or something, and uh, managed to get one bullseye. You just have to believe me that that is real. So now I really want to make an axe throwing target, and that should really disturb the neighbors. There's some antique and bric a brac stalls there, and I saw an old fireman's hatchet and bucket, so I had to buy that. So that might be a project for next summer. So I think that's all for now. So thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Links to the tools I've mentioned down below. And I'll see you next time.